Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin. I'm from grassfedgirl.com. So this week we're going to be talking about which test to ask your doctor for when you want to know if your thyroid is working correctly. So the first one you want to ask for is called the TSH. Now this is the one that most doctors will do just by itself. It's not a good idea to do this one just alone because it's not really a thyroid hormone. It doesn't tell you the whole picture of what's happening with your thyroid. It just tells you um, a signaling with your pituitary. So it's really not a good idea to just do this one in isolation. It is a good one to do, but not by itself. So then there's the T4, and the T4 is the inactive form of thyroid hormone, and you wanna see the total and the free. So if you can get the T4, the total, and the free. Also, you want the T3. Now that's the more active form of thyroid hormone, so that's the total and the free as well for the T3. And that's the one that your body is converting in its liver, so you really need that one to be working, to be high and working well. So the next one is the thyrobinding globulin. That is the, um, that is one of the antibodies. So you have two antibodies that you want them to check, is the TPO, the thyroid peroxidase antibodies, and the thyrobinding globulin. So your body, when it starts making antibodies to your thyroid hormone, that's not a good thing because it's telling, your body's telling itself that there's something wrong going on and that's not what you want uh, because your thyroid needs all that hormone so it can synthesize it for your metabolism and for sleep and for um, losing weight and all those things that you wanna have working like your energy. So um, the next one is the reverse T3. That is a really important one. Um, you can have some signaling problems with that one, so make sure you get the reverse T3 as well. And then you want the T3 uptake. So those are the ones you want, and I will write them down below. Um, but make sure, if your doctor says, I'm not gonna do these tests, then you can do them online, and there's a place called uh, Everly Well. You can also go to directlabs.com. There's a lot of places you can do them on your own now. You don't have to be at the mercy of your doctor. And if your doctor is not willing to give you uh, the benefit of the doubt and give you these thyroid tests, then it might be time to find a new doctor. So keep that in mind as well. And uh, also, um, I have had Hashimoto's for about 10 years. So I have a lot of experience in this arena. And it took me a few times to go to different doctors to get them to do all these tests. Um, but it is worth the effort, and as soon as I got the right test, I got a diagnosis and I was able to get on thyroid medication, which made me feel a whole lot better uh, right away. So it's not the end-all be-all, but you need thyroid medication, uh, thyroid hormone, or thyroid hormone replacement uh, to function normally if you have Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism. So it's really important to get the proper tests. If you have any questions, just make sure and leave the comment below and make sure and subscribe for my weekly videos on health and wellness. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.